Hello there, morons. It's Victor, king of the morons. Welcome to the Give Me a Break Man channel. It's been, uh, what, it's been three weeks now since I started uploading on this channel. I want to thank all of you for your support, doing really well. Anywho, today we're going to be talking about just recent news events in the J-Vlogging community that I thought were worth talking about. Uh, little things. There. Morons, it's Victor, king of the morons, in the underway, underground subway area. Look at all these people that are taking up all this space here. Can't get around them. What's happening here? And with a little J Blog news, I haven't done these in a while. Just telling you what's happening in the J Blog community. The first big story is Busan Kevin has had to close down his account. It is gone. Go over there, check it out. It's gone. Uh, but he's still around on YouTube. He's still got his J Land Kevin account open. I cannot get into details on why this tragedy has befallen him. But I will, it's suffice to say that he is not happy. He's very unhappy. But he will be happier. He will not be so unhappy if you go over and vlog and uh, subscribe to J, J Lamb. Kev, so go check out that channel. Uh, it's, it's the same thing. Just like even Breaking Making Fake Man. Same thing, no big deal. What are you looking at? This guy's looking at me. What are you looking at? Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, a couple holding hands. Isn't that nice? Love is in the air. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Next new story. Speaking of love, love is in the air. Hannah Minx got married. Yes, yeah, so this is a better be cool. You know. But you know, some of you are still thinking about her. You don't have to, they'll stop thinking about her. She's married now. There's a huge fat guy she's behind me. Check him out. Ready? He's hiding. Um, is he guyish? I can't tell. He could be. He looks whitish and guyish. Anyway, so she got married. So like, wow, it's so windy. I'm just crossing the street, get the red light because I'm, I'm that way. Oh, it's green light now. So she's married. Yeah, big news. So congratulations to her. I don't know, no, don't know many details. A lot of people have been like asking about her, but obviously, like she's a grown woman. Obviously, she doesn't want to make videos anymore. That's fine. Um, so good for her anyway. Most importantly, she's happy. And that's great. Other news. Ken Tanaka. Always takes me a second to say his name. Ken Tanaka. I recently put up a video in which he and Kat McDowell, Takeo, uh, two other people, maybe, two other people are sitting in a Japanese restaurant and the Japanese waitress comes over and speaks Japanese to them, but because they all have foreign faces except for one Asian who happens to not be Japanese, not speak Japanese. Simasen. Hi. Ano, gochumon no hou kimari desu ka? Oh, sorry, I don't speak Japanese. Uh, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's one of those don't judge a book by its cover videos and a little note on racism and the way people people deal with people who have Western faces and speak Japanese, especially in Japan. And anyway, not a big deal, but a lot of people are saying that this kind of thing... A lot of people... Uh, he doesn't know who I am, obviously, but a lot of people do uh, say that that's bullshit, that kind of shit doesn't happen. It does happen. Does it happen a lot? No, because not many Asians in Japan do not speak uh, Japanese. So, so, yeah, it doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. Uh, now, if you are like me and you, <laughs> and you speak Japanese and you go to a restaurant with an Asian friend, which does happen, you know, then... Um, this kind of thing will happen, of course, more. Uh, is it a big condemnation of Japan? No, it doesn't happen all over the place. So it happens occasionally. But when it does happen, it's extremely frustrating. There, I've, been, I've been with uh, Japanese people who, who will speak, I'll speak perfectly fine to them, you know? Okay, yeah, I've got an accent, but of course they understand exactly what I'm saying. But they just freeze up. They can't answer anything, you know? A woman, I had a conversation with a woman in a, in a convenience store the other day, out, kind of out in the country, Master, this is this typical Japanese food? It's something I've never seen before. And she just looked at me and said, Japanese food. Now the whole thing is again in Japanese, you know. I said, I know, I understand that it's Japanese food, but is it is it typical of this area? Because I've never seen it before. Anyway, just oh my god. And it's pretty frustrating sometimes. It's even worse when you're with someone who doesn't speak Japanese but looks Asian and the Japanese person insists on looking at that person. It's bad enough now that when I'm when I'm uh, trying to get anything done at a store or something, if I'm with my wife and I can see that that kind of person 
that person is going to be the kind of person who is um, he's, is that kind of person, and they're going to be looking at my wife the whole time. I just asked my wife. I said, just, please, just or if it does, it's not always my wife. It could be any Japanese person. I said, look, I'll take care of this. Just go stand over there. You know, just stand two meters away. Um, yeah, so that kind of thing happens. Uh, it's not an exaggeration, but some people are getting really feisty in the comments of that video and going nuts. Anyway, last note, uh, Ken Tanaka has put out a book a while ago called Everyone Dies. And that book was picked up by a major publishing house. And he's having a contest, or he's encouraging us to have contests to give away a copy of the book. So I'm allowed to give away a copy of the book. I don't know what kind of contest I should have, though. So if you guys have any ideas on what kind of contest I can do, uh, please leave it in the comments. Something that was... Mitra. Ah. <laughs> so if you guys have any good ideas on what kind of contest I can hold, I'll make that very soon, that, that video. The Ken Tanaka contest video, okay? I guess that's a bit... Oh yeah, one more thing. Dave Powell. Yeah, apologies to Dave Powell. I, we mentioned him on the, on the program last night. And I got him confused with this kind of other blogger or the other photographer who's a little bit crazy. <laughs> I thought it was somebody else. Um, but so apologies, man. But anyway, Dave Powell is uh, he's behind Shoot Tokyo. I just, uh, I just threw 30 bucks towards the Kickstarter, which is an awesome Kickstarter. But apologies, I, I, I said the wrong name, and I want to mention this because there's only nine days left. And I kind of, I, to be honest, I blew them off like a couple weeks ago. Because it's, so, you know, people send me, you have to remember my position, my position, you know, people send me requests all the time, you know, all the time to, uh, to support their, and promote their Kickstarters. And, some of them are from people that never, you know, obviously are not offering anything decent, or they want something crazy, like just send me money so I can go to Japan, stuff like that. So it's, it's uh, frustrating for me to, to support some of those or to look at them. But obviously I was um, wrong on this one. He wanted $5,000, he's already up to 25,000. And I looked at the video that uh, he's got up there on his Kickstarter. Pretty impressive stuff. If you like photography, if you can't come to Japan especially, and you want a little piece of Japan, nothing better than his photographs, so go check him out. Dave Powell, before you shoot Tokyo. Anyway, and again, apologies for, apologies for goofing up your name last night. Um, two and a half point show, uh, where we talk about drugs. Uh, so that's also a good joke, so check, check that out. I think that's about it, okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, a couple, couple more things. Hikakin and Megwin have both started up their own networks. Uh, Hikakin apparently is only signing people who speak Japanese very well, or in their videos at least. And um, Megwin is Megwin's not really a network, so it's, it's so much as a um, kind of an agency, uh, from what I see. They're, he's not. He, I think he's he's in this. Net, he's not really a network; it's an agency, but he's with someone else. And uh, I don't really know specifics about it, except that they're out there. And congratulations to to them both on their continued success. A lot of people uh, will knock. Uh, a, particular, a particularly successful vlogger, but I think uh, it's kind of pointless to knock them. Um, if, if, if someone is big in the Japanese community, it helps everybody. So even if you may not find them to be your cup of tea, they're, hel they're helping the community uh, grow. There's always a little trickle-down effect, so good for them. Um, there was one thing about that. Oh yeah, also, Megwin was number one on Reddit uh, today for putting up a video with him and his buddies trying to hit 10 different uh, fast food chains in America and eat a hamburger each one. Today challenge is let's check out all 10 hamburgers. ちょっと待ったかな。今回のルールを説明する。俺たちは10個のロスに存在するハンバーガーチェーンを全て食べる。そうだ。一人で10セット。so, wow, pretty impressive. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the news for you. I, I gotta go to work now. Time for my day job. All right, see you later, guys. Look at that, guys. That is a huge Spider-Man poster. Yeah, huge. 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 Yeah, hu
so give him 